As a hub connecting the East and West, Dubai offers unrivaled access to the rest of the world and the diverse population within. Formerly dependent on oil, it now forms less than 1% of the city's GDP. But what makes it so attractive to budding and existing entrepreneurs? Entrepreneurs are, are no different than any other person in the world who is looking for a nice environment where you have access to the entertainment, educational facilities, and definitely having that ease of setting up the business. Dubai Chamber is a semi-government organization and offers support to those wanting to set up a business. Its entrepreneurship arm, Dubai Startup Hub, assisted over 2,000 entrepreneurs last year. There are various stages of entrepreneurial um, journey, from the inception of the idea to registration of the company and scaling your business to the overseas market. Since 2019, athleisure brand El Couture has grown from local to global success. We saw a huge gap in the market for comfortable, high quality but affordable activewear. And that's when I had an idea to start up my own. I've never opened a business before, so I was just learning on the job. But I think it's been very supportive here as a female founder. Dubai is keen not just to increase the number of startups, but to nurture and develop those businesses to have more success stories like this one. In Q1 of this year, Dubai Economy issued over 15,000 new licenses. That's a growth of 19% compared to Q1 of 2020. The licenses issued in Q1 this year were for professional, commercial and tourism and industrial activities. Data platform Magnet tracks every investment that takes place in the venture capital and startup space. Currently, governments, corporates at all levels are very interested in innovation and startups. So when they're trying to make policies, when they're trying to identify potential investments, when startups are looking at their competitors, that's the data that we're trying to aggregate and help educate people in this space. Incubator Interlac was set up to support and launch startups in the aviation, travel and tourism industry. We've awarded uh, about 1.4 million uh, dirham in uh, equity-free seed uh, money to these businesses. One of Interlac's success stories was Dubes. A business that helps uh, travelers uh, clear their luggage before heading to the uh, airport. We helped them with the market research, finding what the right uh, sweet price point is. And due to that uh, initiative, they got uh, a majority uh, stake bought by uh, Donata Group into them, and, and that opened up 90 global hubs. Dubai has just issued guidelines on 100% ownership for foreign investors. I think currently it's easier than ever before to try and start a company. The cost of setting up is uh, less than it used to be. I think one of the things that you definitely see is when you see success stories like Kareem, when you see uh, the success stories of Souk, they inspire the next generation of people that are trying to start companies to replicate them. The UAE has one of the lowest tax rates across its competitor countries with nil rate of corporate tax and 5% VAT. I feel like Dubai is such an inspiring city, it's exciting, there's always something going on here. I think if I lived in a different city, I'm not sure if I would have been as enthusiastic to set up a business with no experience. The Emirates' vision is to embrace a future dominated by technological and research-based industries and become the startup capital of the world.